In this video I'll be showing you how you can auto-tune tracks with a free online flash auto-tuner. Auto-tune is a common effect in today's modern music and some people don't like it because you don't actually need that much talent to be a singer, but it's kind of a cool effect, especially if you auto-tune something that isn't just vocals. Basically how auto-tune works is it takes your vocals and if the note isn't exactly in the scale you've selected it will shift it up or down to the nearest note. Now, you can definitely tell that it is auto-tuned, so here's an example of a non-auto-tuned track. Do, 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 do. That was me singing a D major scale, and then here's the auto-tuned version. Do, 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 do. And so that's basically what auto-tune does. I've found this free Flash Auto-Tune game. It's on Congregate and this other side. I just prefer Congregate because there's less ads. There's three options on the main menu. Port file I prefer because you can actually edit the track beforehand, which is what I've done. I've cleaned up that original one in Audacity, shortened it, and removed the noise. Record, you can record directly through your default microphone. Or live, it'll try and preview it live, but I haven't had much luck. Import your file. It says MP3 or WAV, but I haven't had luck with WAV. It crashed. You can save your files in WAV format, though. So just save your MP3s as the highest bitrate possible. This target key setting over here is the main thing you need to worry about if you don't want to know all these settings. And so since my scale was a D major scale, you click this D major one. And let's just preview that. Do, 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 do. As you notice, that doesn't sound exactly like the one I showed you before. That's because I haven't changed some of these settings. I'll go over all these settings and explain what I prefer. Concert A. 440 is the default setting for an A frequency in music and computers, and so you probably don't want to mess with that. If you do, when you change any of these pitch shifts or pitch pull, then it will shift it from a different note. Fixed pitch, I want this at zero. And pitch pull, zero. Target key, depends on what your song is. If you're singing a song in A minor, make sure you check A minor, otherwise it will sound pretty bad. Pitch shift, zero. And let's listen to this. Do, 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 do. That's more of what I wanted, because before, if you change the pitch shift, it will make your voice higher or lower, which is an effect, but not what I wanted. Strength, Overlay, and Smooth, I prefer these at 1s. They just make the auto-tune a bit more prevalent. If you didn't have something that was terribly bad, you could tone off on the strength, but the smooth makes it sound a little better. LFO Quantity, if you uncheck this, it doesn't actually sound very auto-tuned. And the depth, if you change the rate or the depth, it will sound pretty weird. Listen to this. So back to one, and the LFO shape does the same kind of thing. I prefer these two at zero, they just mess things up. Form fix and form wrap are very related. This one doesn't do anything unless you change the fix. Let's listen to that weird. Do, 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 do. I just uncheck that. And so these are my default setting. Do, 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 do. These are my preferred settings. I'll put links in the description. Go play around, auto-tune, whatever you want. Once you're done, you just click auto-tune and save the file. You can save it as WAV or MP3. MP3 is 192 kilobytes per second, which is pretty decent quality. It encodes your file, and you save it. And that is how to auto-tune yourself for free. 